Hello and welcome. I'm Megan. I'm a photographer and watercolor artist with chronic health challenges, thoughts, and restraint issues. I want to encourage you and for you to see what is possible. Today I wanted to show you my everyday get ready for the day stuff with my health challenges. I kind of just put it all in a ipsy bag. This one's actually I got from a thrift store. It's a slightly larger bag, but it's basically what I have started calling the ipsy bag storage method, which is dump everything into a, a bag that's like a little makeup bag. And then when you need something, you go find it. It helps me to actually stay organized because I'm not going to go put something in some sort of a fancy organization system, but I can definitely dump it all into one bag and then have it all right there under the sink ready for me when I need to get ready for the day which helps to save energy because I don't have to like go around looking for all of the things that I want to use to get ready for the day so I have travel stuff basically that is my everyday stuff so like a travel cover on a toothbrush this one's from steropod just you know toothpaste here's my favorite bb cream i use this before bed this is a new thing um this doesn't have any sunscreen in it but my face is one that needs a good bit of moisture and it's very sensitive so i use this and then give it some moisture and then after i do that then i have bb cream that i put on it and that has sunscreen in it and so before bed i'll do this and then during the day if my face is dry i'll do this a little bit and then use this for like the sunscreen that's in it this is one i use is the light to medium one i don't even know how long i've been using this it's been a few years what else do we have in here the deodorant that i use this is the grapefruit i was gonna say it's the grapefruit flavor do not eat your deodorant this is the <laughs> this is the grapefruit flavor what's the word <laughs> scent i don't really have a sense of smell it does smell a little bit when you first put it on and then the smell like kind of vanishes it's kind of worn down the cool thing okay so there's a couple of cool things about meow meow tweet meow meow tweet is the brand name did i say that too quickly meow meow tweet <laughs> It doesn't have anything bad for you, um, like regular deodorant does, and it's also baking soda free, so it's not gonna like hurt your underarms. And you can they they design their products to be refilled. So this is a glass jar. I have actually traveled with it as a glass jar. They also make like a little cardboard thing, but you buy a giant thing, and I'm talking giant, like it was probably this big around, and you refill this, and then you put it like what wash it out, and you put it on the, in the dishwasher on like sterilize or something, and then are there was some, there was some sort of sterilization procedure once it you cleaned out when you get to the end. I'm about to have to do that again Um, because I have been wearing the deodorant. You're welcome. It's a really good one. Now I have to turn it on my finger. I did not wipe it on my pants. Let's see what else do I have in here. Oh, and then this is the bamboo thing that I used to apply deodorant. It says Little Seed Farm on it. I don't remember where I got it, but I'll put links to anything I can in the description thing. Just how you do this below the video. Um, Oh, look, I have hair bands in here. <laughs> this is what you do when a hair band breaks, apparently, or when you're fiddling. I'm not really sure. Um, I didn't know those were in there. What else do I have? Look at this. Like random things that I'm not using anymore. Hand cream. This one doesn't hurt your hands. I'm not a hand cream. Um, tangy. The cool thing about this one is it changes colors with the DNA of your mouth to like change to be uniquely for you. I got it from the Vermont Country Store. You can get it online from the Vermont Country Store and it's expensive, but I've had this for forever. Um, I have two of them now. Um, it's old the the company itself tangy the, the brand um and then it was discontinued and then the vermont country store like brought it back because they've done that with a few different brands they're really cool and there's like washi tape randomly on the back of my eyeshadow i have an eyeshadow i stuck stickers on it i think it was in an ipsy bag it's matte i think it's either an eyeshadow or a bronzer i still have deodorant on my finger but i like to use it like a little bit of color um i'm pretending i'm french like a little bit of cheek color and a little bit of eye color. A few other random things in here that I'm not using. I have a brush in here that looks like a really nice brush. Huh, I don't use brushes. Man, the bottom of this bag is dirty. And then this, the, I have an eyeliner in here. Clearly I use eyeliner. I didn't know that was in there. I don't use eyeliner or mascara or makeup. I'm showing you makeup, but like I maybe use it once. Let's go with two to three times a month. That's probably pretty accurate. I'm trying to, ooh, this smells. I'm trying to use the BB cream more often. I'm working on that. Um, um, this is from Demeter. It's a tiny little like trial thing for like travel or something. But this, do you want to smell it? Can you smell it? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's, it smells like salt air. So it's like, now I smell like the ocean. And the goal was like, I want to smell like the ocean. So that's what's in here. I have over here 
dramatic pause dry shampoo. This is the best dry shampoo. I tried like two or three other ones one time. Um, it is expensive. If you can't find the energy to shower, you put dry shampoo in your hair and then you just feel so much more clean. It's like wash your face and put dry shampoo in and you just feel so much better. Stay there. Don't roll stay and then along the same lines of having no energy there's micellar water micellar water is really cool can you see that it's kind of clear bottle with black text on it um this is also good for sensitive skin and it's not actually water it's like this cleansing thing you put it on like a cotton round thing and then you can wash your face don't get it in your eyes you can rinse your face afterwards but you don't have to so this you can like wash your face while you're sitting somewhere and not have to get up you can do the entire getting ready for the day just like sitting in bed with your, your ipsy bag and my store water it comes in little containers as well for travel i have one right here um that's an amazing to have and then when i'm not using my store water i've been using cetaphil i found this cute little container and then you can just keep refilling it with the larger bottle um it's not the sensitive skin one or whatever it's just the regular daily one and that's been really good for for my face i think that's everything um i don't think there's anything else that i use on a on a regular basis if you have a flight of stairs and like your bedroom's on a different floor and like it requires energy to go up the stairs again you can put a toothbrush and like a moisturizer or whatever a face wash in both bathrooms and then if your shower is on a different floor you can do the same concept you don't like you can have two toothbrushes one on each floor that's a possibility hopefully that helps you even and you know even if it didn't it was interesting it's also fun to see what's in somebody's bag and see what they use on a regular basis like watching that so Hopefully that was helpful. I will see you in the next video.